Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and it's time for some more Academia School Simulator and here we go. We are looking at the report card for the Geek Cupboard Academy and we're looking at this for one reason only and that is so we can sit back and go ooh and ah and marvel in wonder at our current school rank which is number one. Oh yes, I don't know how this has happened if I'm completely honest. I don't know how this has happened. This, this is unprecedented. Unprecedented levels of success in the Geek Cupboard because number one, we're, we're the best. It took us five years to go from nothing, from a field, a, a, that's all we had, a field. There were no classrooms, there were no corridors, there was nothing, there were no students. So we had nothing five years ago. And now, as we start year six, and we're in the build phase of year six, we are now the number one school. We have dragged ourselves from nothingness through the thousands, up to the 500s, into the 100s, and then we kind of just made a dramatic leap into number one. We made a fairly substantial leap up into number one place, and that is very, very good indeed. And look, we did it with a cleanliness of B and a final grade of B+. If our cleanliness had been a bit higher, and I, I accept that this is a problem in our school, <laughs> not quite figured out why, but if that was higher, we would have had even more prestige and we would have been even further ahead of all the other people. But do you know what? It doesn't really matter. We are school number one out of 1,000 schools in whatever this place is. I still don't really know kind of where this is set. I mean, those 1,000 schools, are they in an American state? Are they in an American county? Are they in an English county? Are they in some sort of other authority sort of district? I don't really know where those 1,000 schools are, but whatever, it's fine. We're number one. We're number one of those 1,000 schools, and that's what matters, which is jolly exciting. So we've got our money. We've got 21 and a half grand. So the first thing we need to do I saw this just as the game loaded up, is that one of the sofas in the staff lounge is mysteriously broken. I don't think it was in a state of disrepair. I think it's just literally just fallen apart. Now, this does beg the question of have the teachers been coming into the school and maybe uh, perhaps misusing the sofa in the staff lounge during the holidays? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But let's repair that so one of the little builder guys can come in and repair that. I don't think there's anything else looking around now anyway that needs repairing right so job number one we want to get all the uh, new things in here to make these four more classrooms so they need uh, the chairs they need the teacher chair and the, and the table obviously and they need the chalkboard at the back so let's get those done first because then we know what we're doing with those so we'll get the chairs in so we're going to get 16 of those 16 of those 16 of those and 16 of those now again this is not cheap this is not cheap look we're down to 18 and a half grand already We've spent quite a bit of money, but do you know what? This in the long run brings us in more cash, which is lovely. Right, flip that round. Chalkboard, 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 chalkboard. Lovely. Also, round here is lacking kind of niceties, isn't it? Along here, we're lacking, you know, trash bins and potted plants and all that kind of stuff. Let's throw a couple of those in, shall we? So, where are the trash bins? The trash bins are kind of almost at the end. So, there's a trash bin there. We'll pop one by the door. We'll put one at the end as well. And then we want to get some potted plants. So we'll put one there and one next to the... Now let's put one in the middle. Actually, let's put one by the music room door. That's quite nice. And then a couple of hand sanitizers wouldn't go amiss either. So let's put one there, one there, and one just there. They are relatively expensive. I hadn't really noticed how much they are. So 150 base price, we get them a bit cheaper because we've got the 10% off due to the store discount thing or whatever it is, the thing we research. So $135 for a hand sanitizer. It does seem quite expensive, but do you know what? It's probably very useful. I also noticed there isn't one just there, so let's pop one just there as well. Lovely, so the students can all be nice and hygienic and lovely. And do you know what? There isn't one just there either. Let's put one on that corner. The more of these, the better, because then the students can all wash their hands and it increases the hygiene and that makes everything clean and it means that you know, they maintain their motivation and all that kind of stuff. So now, with them in, let's move time on and the builders can come in and work on that. While they're doing that, we can have a look at this. In fact, does time move on? No, it doesn't. Time stays perfectly still. Okay, brilliant. Okay, well, never mind. How about, in terms of research, let's get this just here. Let's get experimentation. It's the final sort of thing that's going to unlock the rooms. So we've got ourselves the library and the computer room from that one. We've got ourselves the art room and the music room from here. And this unlocks the final room for science, which is the science lab for science. So let's get that. It's 3,000 monies. We've got 16 and a half. So yes, we'll have a bit of that, please. A little bit of experimentation. And this will just tick over quite nicely in this phase. This will just sit there quite nicely, churning away, getting this done. And then we need to look over here. 
Now, the only thing about over here is some students don't have chairs. There are students who are not assigned to classrooms. We haven't started the year yet, have we? No. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. In fact, do you know what we can do? We can unzone all of these things. Let's just unzone everything. Just to make it nice and straightforward as to what's happening with the number. So there we go. Right. Everything is unzoned. That's lovely. So there's currently no classrooms. Hooray. Hooray for the number one school in the country slash world slash authoritarian district. Whatever it is. Hooray for this school that's supposed to be really good. Right. Are they in? Have they turned those into classrooms? Come on, there's one chalkboard left. Experimentation research is done, which is lovely. And now look, we can't even start the school yet because we have no classrooms. We've got no classrooms now. So now let's, we'll zone these out in a moment, get that all sorted. But along here, our plan is to have this as a corridor, which is lovely. We love a corridor. That is going to be a great big toilet, essentially. <laughs> Not one. It's going to be many small toilets in one large room. But I think we might do that a bit later. And we'll put this up here. So we'll build a little bit up here. And we'll merge this. So we'll take this wall down and make this all one, say, we'll make this the male toilet. And this one here next door can be the female toilet. And they can just be a gigantic toilet with stalls on one side and then sinks on the other. Because I think we saw last time there are not enough sinks for people to go and wash their hands once they've used the loo. So they're kind of wandering about looking for hand sanitizers and all that kind of stuff. So I think we might do that. So let's get that bit done here. So we'll have a bit going up here because it's only three wide. It doesn't need to be sort of excessive or grand or anything. So that'll be like that. We'll demolish that, which is nice. And then we'll get ourselves a door, which will go straight into the middle just there and straight into the middle just there. And then if we've got the money, I'd like to get at least this in just here because this can be our science room. So that can be the science room. Take that little bit of uh, wall out. And then we need a door to get into the science room. Do you know what? It can go this end. It can go just there. Why not? We'll put the door just there. So now hopefully the builder guys can get on with that. No doubt they will get themselves in a terrible pickle. They'll get themselves stuck outside or whatever. Who knows what they're going to do? Because <laughs> they're very, very silly. So now we can take that wall down in the middle. So we'll demolish that wall, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, this can be... Yeah, we need to demolish quite a lot of items as well. So let's unzone those right now. So we can unzone that unzone that let's not unzone that though that would be silly uh oh also we need some flooring don't we so floors just there bathroom tiles so do that just there bathroom tile bathroom tile okay all right so that's going to be done oh and a bit of teal carpet as well just there please lovely lovely teal also over here teal just there as well please splendid seven thousand three hundred ninety seven monies <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go very far, money in academia. Oh, it makes me a bit sad. But yeah, they'll take these out, and then we need to rejig these. Now, they've got urinals in here already, but do we need... I kind of want sinks. I want toilets all the way along, so these sinks at the end can go. So they can just be dismantled. So dismantle that, and the good thing is we get the money back. So dismantle that. Dismantle that sink as well, and dismantle that sink because it's facing the wrong way. And then all those can go, and all those can go for now. So we'll get the money back on those. So that's fine. So what are they doing now? Where are the builders? No doubt they're stuck somewhere. Yeah, they probably built a wall and then got stuck. <laughs> they made themselves get stuck outside. Yeah, you need to take down this bit of wall. There you go. Well done. At least one of you's got a little bit of now about you. There you go. Right. So they're going to come in and do this. Nope. They're going to run off and do something else. Right now they're running into here to take down bits of wall. <laughs> Who knows how these guys work. And now they're doing that. That They're very erratic other builders it's like watching ants it's like watching ants ants run around somewhat erratically don't they you sometimes look and think what are, what are you doing they're a little bit like that right put those into there now the good thing about this of course is that we're in the build phase and it doesn't matter there's no time limit nothing's happening we're not paying any wages nothing's kind of going off we're just sort of sitting here and we could be in the build phase for 200 days if we wanted i mean that would be silly but we could be if we wanted oh you're going to go and you're just going to go and look at that door which is weird enough. <laughs> You've put a door in. I mean, the hinge must be on this side. Oh, it is on this side, isn't it? Yeah, the hinge is there. I was going to say, if it's the other way round, that door is physically impossible. That should, door should just fall over. But no, it's hinged on that side. It's all fine. It's all good. Okay, so day two begins of the build phase. It matters not. Well, let's wait then. Let's wait until they've done this. Right, they've put all the flooring in there, which is nice. 
Let's just erase the um, blueprinting tool stuff for there because I can see it in the little doorways and stuff, which is annoying. So we'll do that for there as well. Get rid of that. Lovely. Some students don't have chairs. I know I've not done that bit yet. It's fine. Don't panic. So when they've taken all these things out, which will hopefully be relatively soon, I hope they get on with that relative. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we'll get money back, look, because they're dismantling the sinks and the toilets and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look at the money rolling in. <laughs> you get so much money. They're so expensive, these things. Right, so now we can, if we pause it, let's zone these out. So this can be the male toilet and this can be the female toilet. There we go. Now, the male toilet is a working toilet. The female toilet obviously not working yet. So that's fine for the male toilet. What we'll do is, how about we put, we get rid of some of those. So we get rid of, say, those up there. And then we use them to go into here. And then, yeah, we can put urinals up that end or urinals or however I'm supposed to pronounce it. I don't know. But uh, yes, yeah, so we'll do that. So we'll get rid of those like that, which is lovely. And then we shall go to toilet and we'll go to sink. Uh, so let's have the sinks on this wall here. So this is going to be relatively expensive. So at the minute, let's have six sinks. And for the girls, they can have six toilet cubicles. Okay. And then the blokes down here, the guys, they can have one, two, three, four, five, six of those, which is fine. Right. So get that constructed. In the meantime, we need to go over here and we'll slow time down because I want to zone this out as the science lab that must be on the next screen yep so that as the science lab which is nice now that needs a certain floor so let's go to floors now the science lab i kind of this is what i did last time on my previous run i made it a concrete floor because in science labs you're going to have things like you know, bunsen burners and things that can be on fire and i think if you're going to put carpet in there that's just going to be bad. The children are going to be playing with volatile chemicals. They're going to drop it. It's going to burn holes through the carpet. However, if you've got trusty concrete, good old concrete, nothing is really going to happen, is it? It's going to be fine. So I think let's just go for a concrete tile. There's no advantage or disadvantage to any of the floor types at all. So yes, we will have ourselves concrete in the science lab. Thank you very much. Just in case something happens. Also, I rather suspect that it's done the weird thing where they cannot be bothered to build those walls. So we'll undo that and put that back in. Right. Okay. Are they going to run down here all of a sudden? Yep. Okay. They've realized a the job needs doing over here now. So they're going to start putting the science lab flooring in. What do we need in the science lab? Let's have a little look. Um, oh, there's quite a lot of things, isn't there? There's quite a lot of things. So two tables... Uh, science cabinets, microscopes, periodic tables, chalkboards. Well, the chalkboard could go, if we get a chalkboard, we'll put that just there, like that. And then let's have the microscope sitting next to the chalkboard, like that. So that just tucks into the corner quite nicely. And then it says we need two tables. I would have thought we might have needed more tables because there's going to be 16 people in here. So that's enough to get four students around. Now, the only thing is, do we do it? Hang on, hang on. Do we do it like that? And then can we tuck a science cabinet at the end like that? So can we do that and then put a table just there? I think that's fine. I think that's OK. So that's eight students. That OK, this room is very cramped. It's a very cramped room. It's fine. <laughs> Possibly it needs to be a tiny bit bigger. I'm sure it'll be fine. Get rid of those. They can just be big, long benches. It can be a big, long bench. So we've got a science cabinet, and then the periodic table can face uh, that way, like that. Let's have another one of those science cabinet things in as well. And then there can be another microscope just there, and another one just there. Okay. I like the description on the microscope, by the way. Makes tiny insects look like giant nightmare monsters. <laughs> Indeed they do. So that should now be done. The science lab is now up and running. We have ourselves a science lab, which means we should, in theory, be able to just go and do this straight away and get ourselves a free five grand. So it kind of pays for that room, if you like. So, ta-da, we've got five grand. That is very lovely. Okay, science lab in. That means we've got a little bit more money to spend on these. So let's go over to toilets. <laughs> the exciting and glamorous world of installing toilets. Right, put another couple of those in, like that and that. Um, more cubicles on this side. They're very expensive. And then there can be some urinals, urinals, whatever. I mean, how much is that? That's 1800 to put all of those in. Let's just get all of those in. Whatever. They're done now. And then can we then afford all of that as well? 2880 Okay. 
that that's a lot of toilet cubicles right there that's an awful lot going on and then we'll have a bit there and a bit there and then as the game progresses we will fill those in we will fill those in so we'll put more sinks in but that should be fine oh do you know what's annoying really annoying down there look hang on rotate that round bosh put a toilet in there as well please that would be lovely so that should be okay that'll be okay for the guys and the girls and we'll fill that in as we go along right now what do we want to do science lab is in and i'm quite happy about that we are going to need another janitor i would have thought so let's get ourselves another janitor like so and then let's also do some janitor routing because now nobody is in here nobody is cleaning the female toilet this toilet is being cleaned i mean it's a cleaned in a weird way <laughs> because they come in one end and go in the other end but that's fine so we need to create a new route that maybe just goes through the corridors along here yeah we need more people actually because that needs cleaning as well so let's just start here we'll go up here into there we'll stop in there we'll go to here and maybe we'll have two people cleaning these toilets we'll go to there and then we'll complete our route just here so one person can do that and then we want to create another janitor route that just goes from here over to there and then down into here there there um, then they can go to say there then they can cut into the music room then they can come back to here then they can go into the art room and they can complete their route just there that only leaves us with two roaming janitors if you like there's only two more janitors that are going to be roaming around so do we get another janitor it's quite expensive but i think we need to so yes, we shall have another janitor who is going to do some more cleaning, which is lovely. That leaves us with 1,841. So now we need to zone out all of the classrooms because at the moment we've got nowhere for students to go. And that's probably quite bad for a school. So we should have five of each because we had four before. We've added some more classrooms. So now we've got five of each. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. Two, three... <laughs> four and five this is good slow counting up to five with pens this is fun this is fun everybody um that's two that's three that's oh that's gone wrong that's four and that's five one two three four five yep lovely and as always the seniors get the nice new they get the shiny new classrooms and the new benches and the new equipment and stuff but there you go um right so that's all done and now we need to assign people into their various classrooms okay so this might take a little while so there should be a classroom spare so these ones have all come up from the previous year so the current uh well the old year fours if you like have all left so these are year threes that have been promoted up lovely and now these are all the year twos that got promoted up to year three which i think is all of them so i don't think any of those failed which is lovely so yep yeah, you'll come in and we've got a bit of room left and you will come in and we've got a bit of room left too and then this here, there is 65. Is that an extra person? I think it's an extra person, isn't it? How is there an extra person? I'm not going to pretend to understand why there's an... Oh, because somebody got... Maybe somebody got held back in year two, and that wouldn't make sense for the other one. But there we go. So there's 15 available there. Now, what we need to do here... Let's pause time a second. We've got all of these transfer things now. So we're going to get ourselves five freshmen... We're going to get ourselves five seniors, five sophomores, and five juniors. So we'll accept that because it gives us prestige and, more importantly, lovely cold hard cash. So, yeah, we'll have five freshmen, we'll have five juniors, we'll have five seniors, and five sophomores. Right, okay. So we've got an extra five of each, which is fine. And now we need to pick which one of these we're going to have because we're going to have an extra 10 bullies or 10 rowdy freshmen. Now, I think last time we said we were going to go for the bullies because they're the harder one to do. So we'll get these out of the way. Our counsellors did a grand job last time. They did so well. I think by midway through the year, all the truants had gone. So hopefully they can do the same with the bullies. And then uh, in the year after, so when we start year seven, we'll have the rowdy ones. And that will seem easy in comparison to dealing with some horrid, nasty bully types. So let's go for that. So let's get ourselves 10 freshman bullies coming in as well. So we've now got ourselves back up to just about 11 grand. Now we need to do the admissions bit. This is going to get all sorts of complicated, isn't it? Because we've got ourselves 15 people already coming in for the freshmen. So we want to get ourselves 65 more people in. Because 65, if we get to it, so we're 65. 
plus the five that we got in that we transferred will make 70, plus the 10 bullies makes 80. Beautiful. And then we've got ourselves 65 returning here, sophomores. Uh, but then we've got an extra five coming in from the transfer. I think it's five. Please tell me it's five. I think it's five. Hang on. <laughs> Where is it? Unlockable. Neutral toilets. Must complete staff toilets. Must complete let the sunshine in. Where are those? Let the sunshine in. Must complete statues. Oh, they're ones that I've not unlocked yet. Oh, right. I will do that at some point. Um, It's five. Yeah. So that goes up to 70. So then we get another 10. Is that right? Returning is 65. I'm a bit confused as to whether it's accepted these or not. I don't know whether it's sort of uh, put them into the calculations. Now I'm now I'm more confused. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. So we've got 65 returning. That seems about right. And we've got 80 seats, which is a classroom's worth. Well, it is, yeah, just shy of a classroom's worth. So 65. So the five have come in from here. So five have been transferred in. So we can get another 10 in here. And that's fine. So 10 sophomores coming in make 75 in total plus the five that we're transferring in right okay and then we need to do the same for this to make sure that says 75 and the same for this to make sure that no no too many that's a 75 so 75 75 75 those numbers coming in from outside with all the very very good numbers of interested people that's very encouraging and then the five will be transferred in for the seniors, the juniors, the sophomores and the freshmen. And then we've got 10 extra bully freshmen coming in. Brilliant. <laughs> Isn't that good? I love that we get paid less for the freshmen. Surely they should get paid equal. Everybody is equal just because they're freshmen. Just because they're younger doesn't mean their tuition is you know less valuable. That's a little bit rude, isn't it? Um, okay, so we've done that. We can't accept rowdy transferees because we haven't got room and that would be silly because that's going to cause us too many problems. How about we do this? Let's take on statuesque. And I think we can place these statues. So we need to place a male statue and a female statue. So let's take that on. We don't get the 100 prestige just yet, but we can easily do this. We can easily, easily do this. The only thing is I was going to build one there, but I don't think they can go around the fountain to get to that. That is a bit of a problem, actually, isn't it? With the fountain placement. I've not done that very well. <laughs> I've not thought very well about that. That's unfortunate. Um. Okay, so let's go to build. Uh, no, it's build outdoors and along here are some statues somewhere yeah so a male statue let's take that down let's remove the fountain for now right move time on and we'll replace it somewhere else because we should get two grand back for that i would have thought i imagine we'll get two grand back hopefully so we should go to 11 8, 7, 1, if he takes it down quickly come on chop chop and uh 11 12 6 what we got three okay i'm very confused that looks like more but okay <laughs> oh no they're two yeah that will make sense so that's now gone so we can place the female statue by the door and the male statue by the door and because i want to put a fountain in still let's have a fountain just there in fact we could put that there now put a fountain there and because we're fancy and i like symmetry let's have one there as well marvelous okay so now they can get on with that and hopefully they will build the statues first in fact no everyone's going home first oh no well done you. Well done you two. You've come in to help us build that, do those things and get that grant sorted. That is very kind. Oh, and they're building the fountains as well, even though it's 6 p.m. at night. Oh, well done you. Isn't that, isn't that admirable effort there? There you go. Lovely fountains. We've built a thousand objects. And now we've got let the sun shine in. Yes, I remember this from before. So it's just about placing windows. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have that. Yeah, we'll do that. We can place some windows. We'll get that done now. That's nice and straightforward. So uh, yeah, let's get... Where are windows, do you reckon? They're in here, aren't they? So there you go. There's uh, a big window. So we need to place four of those somewhere or other. <laughs> Don't really know where, but... Um, I mean, do we want to put them behind the teacher sort of table things? Maybe? I don't really know. Because that would make sense. Because then they're facing outside. They said, that's quite a lot of money. <laughs> that's very expensive. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's put windows here like this. They can all be big windows. It's fine. We've got the money for it. It'll it'll look lovely. It makes the school feel nicer and presumably it'll make people feel happier. So that's lovely. So, um, yeah, behind the teacher desks. 
there and there and there and there and there and there. So that's way more than the four windows that we need for the big windows. So I think it also said small windows, didn't it? So windows and big windows. Okay, so they were big windows. Where are just regular windows? Come on, where are they? In there somewhere. I've gone past them, haven't I? Oh no, there it is, windows. Okay, and let's put some windows in the canteen then. Let's pop a few windows in the canteen. So we'll have one there. We'll have one on the other side. Um, oh, like that. Yeah, of course, because it goes through to the other side. Of course it does. And then uh, let's have one in this corner here. Like that. So they can see out into the world and see what's going on and all that kind of stuff. That's lovely. Um, we don't really want any in the clinic or the library or anything. So that should be fine. Right. Move time on. Nice and fast. They can get all that building work done. Uh, so yeah, let's come back when that's finished. And then we should then get the gender neutral toilets, which could, in the long run, go down here because we do want another toilet sort of block down here it's going to be another room here for say another science lab or computer lab or whatever and then yeah that could be the gender neutral toilets i think that would be a good idea so we need to get paid that would be our first sort of uh kind of uh call of call of duty there if you like we need to get some money in first let's just check the schedule just to make sure that everybody does have a teacher now i think they do because i think we had capacity last time so yeah that's looking pretty good that's looking good yep yeah. oh no 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 pe teachers really what why why are they the only ones without teachers assigned why is it pe teachers has anyone else got no teachers available have we lost a pe teacher along the way has one of them retired or something i'm very confused because if they've all got three teachers in each in each uh, department, it should be fine. PE, we've got three PE teachers. I will admit to being a little bit confused by this. I'm not entirely sure why that is doing that. Um, okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, senior may lack teachers check your schedule. Well, that doesn't make any sense. There's an art. I'm very confused. I don't know why there's no te there's no language teacher. There's no PE, no language. No PE and no art, but everywhere else seems to muddle through just fine. I'm a little bit confused as to why. I mean, can we rejig the schedules? Can we tell them to not do PE then if there's no teachers available? Oh, in the meantime, in the background, while I'm looking at that, I think we have just completed. Yes, look, we put all the uh, windows and things in. So that's lovely. So we got that. So um, yeah, we've got gender neutral toilets is our next thing, is our next thing to do. So we've got basic facilities done, so we could eventually build the neutral toilet it will go down here but we haven't got the money right now and i'm still pondering this i'm a bit confused by this so if we go to the seniors there is no pe teacher for the 3 p.m session we have three pe teachers at this point in time at 3 p.m are the other three pe teachers in use so they're not in use there so juniors yes they are there's one there so linwood guimon is doing that just there so that's fine sophomores jackie renierson and freshmen's bet they are aren't they yeah medrout stuff oh this this could be a problem couldn't it can we not rejig your schedule a bit can we not move it around a bit to make it better <laughs> so we don't have to employ more teachers i don't want to have more teachers that makes things really complicated so we need to have another pe teacher and another art teacher by the look of it and the pe teacher can cover this and the art teacher can cover here um yeah we might have to do that okay fine so i think we're ready to start the year we've got nothing else to do we've only got 3300 money so we've not really got any sort of great deal of cash to go and build anything else those toilets are looking good science lab is done all these are set all the admissions are correct which is lovely so i think we're ready to go i have a terrible feeling of dread <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I kind of feel like something terrible is going to happen. How many are in each year? Let's just check whether the cafeteria is big enough. Um, 80 seats. Now, people have pointed out, I thought three students could sit on one of these, but apparently four students can sit on a bench, which is good. So each table can hold eight people. 
So if we've got 10, if we've got 10 tables, that means that we can accommodate a year's worth of students, which is 80 going in. So I think we've got plenty. We've got one, uh, well, let's just count across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 18 cafeteria tables. That is absolutely plenty. That is, we could have more, almost double, almost double the amount of students we've got. So that's fine. I think we're ready to start the school year. Now we are going to have to spend a little bit of our money on teachers. And I am going to get us another cook to go into the kitchen because there's going to be more kids coming in so they're going to need a little bit more help i'm going to get a couple more janitors and then maybe even possibly another monitor maybe to go around here as well but yeah right now let's start the school year now i know we're going to get a nagging message saying check your schedule yes i know unless they rejig the schedule right now which would be fantastic no so we need to get paid lovely on oh, ten thousand. <laughs> We get 10 grand a day. That's ridiculous money. That's ridiculous money. Okay, so is this thing still an issue? Seniors, yeah, no teachers. So we need another PE teacher and another art teacher. Okay, we can absolutely do that. So art teachers, um, who's good at art? Oh no, this Maria Montessori is very, very good at PE. She doesn't look like a PE teacher. I, I, mean, I don't know what exactly she does. She looks like she's in kind of Victorian dress, but she's very good at PE, apparently. She's got 100 out of 100 at PE. Costs a grand a day. We get 10,700. So yeah, let's hire you because that will mean that our PE scores go up quite nicely. And then art. Who's good at art? Oh, Babbage. Babbage is here. I mean, do we replace one of our science people with Babbage? Because having Charles Babbage surely is going to be a bit of a coup for the school. <laughs> surely. Who's good at art? Come on, there must be a... There you go. Jose Rizal... Uh, oh, you're good at PE as well. Chris Top, what are you good at? Oh, you're good at science. I, I love your hat. Uh, now, let's have you in the art department. So you're another grand a day, but you are a good sort of uh, special degree person. So we'll get you in as well. And then science. Oh, science is very, very well covered. Science is brilliantly covered. But we could get rid of Eve Dizelle for 433 per day and get in Charles Babbage. In fact, she's quite terrible. Oh, no, sorry. No, that's Malcolm Poole. I oh, know she's OK, 75, but we could get rid of her for 677 a day. And for just a little bit more, we could get Charles Babbage, the father of modern computing, in our school teaching science. I think that's probably a good thing. Let's fire you and let's hire Charles Babbage into the science department. The science department is just three superstar people. That is brilliant. And then language. Let's get rid of one of these. So let's get rid of who's got the lowest skill here. So 77 and 79. So Francoise Heinemann, you can go and we'll get Novak in. So we'll get rid of you. Yes. And we'll hire, no, it's like Novak. Novak, you're in. You can come in and do the language. Um, math, so science is good. History is good. Right, what do you do? Your science, your PE your history okay we could get rid of a history person there we go dudley so we get rid of moss he's got 71 history or 74 yep sorry duds it's time for you to go we're gonna get in mr jm lim whoever that might be i don't oh hang on plato oh plato's good at art okay so yeah let's hire you into history this is going very well i like this and this is just making sure that all our students are going to pass which is fine so language two good people math only one good person that's got lots that's got lots they've got lots They've got lots. So yeah, down to math. So is anyone good at the numbers? Can somebody be please good at the numbers, please? One of you top people. Science. No. Okay, find more. Find more. You're good at history. Uh, Drew Durno, you're a YouTuber as well, Drew. <laughs> I know of your stuff. Joanna. Josh is good at PE. Connard's good at PE. Find more. Uh, you're good at language. Chris again. Madeline. Oi. Socrates. Socrates is good at PE. I wouldn't have put Socrates as a PE person myself, but okay. Uh, come on, there must be a math person. Come on, there must be someone that can do the numbers. But no, they're, they're sort of not... It's not coming up. I mean, fortunately, it's only $50 a pop to find new people, which is fine. Your art, your science, your language, Plato is art, Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace is PE. Get the heck out of town. Get off. <laughs> she would not be P. She would be like science or math or something. That's just all very silly. Right. I'm going to get math. There we go. I was going to say, I'm going to keep looking until I can find a math person, but I've got one. 79, 77. I'm sorry how I pronounce that first name. 
Geo, possibly. I don't know how you say that. But there you go. You are gone in favour of... Oh, no. Oh, no. Who was it? Who was it? Who was the good person? You. Neil Corr. I don't know who you are, but welcome aboard. You're in the school. Beautiful. And even though we've just replaced a load of our teachers, we've still got 18 and a half grand left to play with. And we still earn 7,000 a day. And that's even with some extra teachers. That is brilliant. So, yeah, we may lack teachers. Check the schedule. Okay, I will do. I think it should be sorted now. I think the schedule should be okay. I would have thought it would be fine. Hopefully. Yeah, everyone's got a teacher there. Everyone looks like they've got a teacher in here. And everyone looks like they've got a teacher in here. Yeah, everyone's got teachers for all the things. So, I am checking the schedule, but I think you're wrong, game. <laughs> I think I think you're wrong. Oh, no, look there. Language. There. We need another language teacher. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, no teacher for language. Okay, fine. Oh, good grief. Right, let's go and get another language teacher then. Uh, let's get a good one. If we're going to do it, let's get one of the fancy ones. Uh, oh, now there's a math person. Um, you're good at PE. You're good at language. Josh Matthews with your crazy... Have you got like a little pencil moustache? That's brilliant. We'll hire you. Absolutely. Welcome. Right, are we now okay? Are we okay for, for this? Because we've got a little bit of money left. But, I, I mean, and we've brought that down. I mean, we have got a lot of very good teachers. We've got a lot of very, very good teachers now, which is good. That's a good thing. We might need another staff lounge, possibly. We may need another staff lounge in here. Also, I can't help noticing that there is a load of mess by one of the, the uh, urinals there. I mean, the students have been in. So that's a teacher. So whoever did that, they should feel very, very embarrassed. They should feel ashamed of themselves. Um... Let's see if we can start working on this across here. Let's take the gender neutral toilets grant. So five grand up front, which is lovely. So that's quite nice. And then we'll try and get this stuff built across here. So we need to take that out. And then we need to get ourselves some walls, some good old sturdy brick walls across there. That's quite a lot of money. And across there, that's even more money. And down into there get a couple of doors that door can go just there and this is going to be a gender neutral toilet let's go to there and there right there's been a bullying incident this is bad <gasps> are you bullying somebody not in the school so away from the monitors you nasty piece of work whoever you are I can't quite click on you because you're very close together so you're not you got bullied i got bullied i feel very safe but i got bullied look at this though this is this is beautiful but yeah your safety is down your safety is a little bit down because you've been bullied and that's that's bad. That's a bad thing. Also, monitors. We need to have a look at what we're doing. Let's hire an extra monitor just to make sure because now we've got bullies. And then we want to make sure... Let's just check monitors. Monitor routing. Uh, I've gone completely blind. There it is. Monitor routing. Uh, we want to make sure that the monitors are covering all of the different areas. Now, there's no monitor covering this corridor. I don't think the kids hang out in the corridors. Or if they kind of go and hang around in the art rooms and stuff. I'm not entirely sure. They might do some bullying in the toilets, possibly. I mean, do we need to set a route across those toilets? And then down, just round that way. That might be worth doing. So just have a monitor going from there uh, to just there. And then through those toilets. And then there. And then down there. And then into there. And then complete the route back there. Now, that leaves us with no spare monitors at all. So no roaming monitors. I want to get two more. One and two. Two more monitors that can just go and roam. That can just go and do stuff. I've got a rowdy student. Where are you going, rowdy? You're going... Oh, you're being told off by the principal. Chuck Gwilt, you are being told off. The principal is using some naughty words. And you, are you going for counselling? You're going to class. Okay. Hopefully, the counsellors will deal with you at some point. Because, yes, right now, if we take a look, in discipline, no, delinquency, sorry. Yeah, we've got two people in detention. We've got a truant. We've got a rowdy student, we just saw, and then the ten bullies that we knew about. Chuck is going to a counsellor at some point, as is Lynette Vullo, whoever she might be. Lynette? Oh, oh, look at this clap. Oh, <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on, pause. I'm going to get rid of those things. Move them out of the way, please. Yeah, very good. So... We ordered it. Well, we ordered in. We requested that we have 10 bullies sent to us. And rather than to distribute them evenly amongst the freshman classes, it seems that this class is made of bullies. So we've got one. I assume you're a bully as well. Yeah. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Nine. Nine bullies in one class. Maybe they can just all bully each other. <laughs> and just be horrible to each other. And then you, Marie Cortez, you've got to sort them all out. I'm I'm very sorry. I apologize. That is that's not really very fair, is it? So you're you're a bully as well. Oh, you might be one of the rowdy people in there then. So who knows what's going on there? Um, the science lab. Oh, oh dear. The science lab does not have a janitor assigned to it, does it? That's going to get horribly icky, isn't it? It's going to get all sorts of gross. Yeah, that's that's bad. Is that janitor sensing the dirt? Are you going to come in and do some cleaning? Oh, good job. Good job, sir. Yes, clean that up, please. Absolutely. Now, you are assigned to a route. But that's fine, because I think you've kind of picked up on this on your route from coming down here. So that's good. But, um, yeah, we do need to sort that out. Yeah, when this is all in, we'll have a janitor that just cleans these bits. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that. But right now, it's okay. We need to get the, um, the flooring in, because they will walk on that, and it will become grotty. So there we go. 1,044 monies to do that. Let's speed time on. Another bullying incident. Can you stop being bullies? Stop being idiots to each other, please. Just all live in harmony. A delinquent student has been set straight. Yes. So Chuck, oh, Chuck. Yes. Chuck was the um the 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 baddie. He was a he was either the disruptive one or the bully one. And another one's been set straight as well. And it's 9:56. It's not even 10 a.m. on the first day, and we've got rid of a rowdy student and a bully. Brilliant. Well, the heck done, councillors. That is that is exceptionally good. Oh no, there's the ah uh, yeah, we haven't set a room as a detention room either. Bosh. A few people have said in the um a few people have said, oh, why don't you set aside a room as a um like a, a specific room for a detention room? Well, I think they do detention at the end of the day. I don't think they need it. You don't need a separate empty room. So we don't need to build a freshman room and never put any students in it and use it as a detention room. I don't think that's how it works. I'm fairly sure they just do detention either at lunchtime or at the end of the day or whatever. And, you know, if it's a freshman, oh, yeah, we possibly need to do one of each, actually. That might be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good point. So we'll have a classroom one, which is the year ones, classroom 10. So if they're a um, if they're a year two, they can go to classroom 10 at lunchtime or break time or whatever. Uh, classroom three. Uh, no, not classroom three. Classroom 11 for the year threes. Classroom 18 for those guys. So now each year group has a detention room they can go into, and that's fine. Who is teaching this? <laughs> Classroom 12's teacher is, is they're not great. They're not great teachers, but okay. I mean, they're trying very, very hard. But yeah, up to 93. Yeah, that's, they're struggling. Whoever that teacher is in Classroom 1, can we go to Classroom 1? Which one is Classroom 1? They get an excellent bonus, which is what we can see here, which is why it's going from 79 to 93. Where is classroom one? I don't want to change the name. I just like to go to it because they're all kind of the same. They all look the same. Do you know what? Bosh. Move time on. Let's see if we can get to the end of the day. I'd like to get to the end of the day because then we could get paid a little tiny bit of monies and we could possibly do something with this room. But we can't really do much right now because we've only got $1,729 and we have many, many rude students. There's much badness going on in our school. We need to sort this out. We need to stamp on this on this delinquency right now. Ah, now that is very interesting. So up here it said there's a bullying incident. So I clicked on it and Vince Hislop was being bullied. Doug Szumiesz, possibly pronounced like that maybe, was actually doing the bullying. But it says, whoops, got caught. So he got caught doing the bullying, which is all very bad. So don't be an idiot, my good sir. You're being a bit of a wally, so go and sort yourself out. And these two here, you're staying in detention. So it's 4 p.m. So it's kind of dismissal time. So everyone else is going to go and do fun things. They're going to the common area. They're going to go and hang out with their friends. These two are naughty people. So you are staying in detention, as are you, which is very, very good. So, yep, you're both locked away in detention. don't think you are. Someone is watching me. <laughs> yes, tis I. Status, someone is watching me. That's it. Your almighty overlord is. Now, again, your hygiene is incredibly low. In fact, no, it's not incredibly low. It's not there. It's non-existent. You are very dirty. Um, It's going to blow. What does that mean? What does that mean? You're fed. You're very comfortable in terms of going for a wee. It's going to blow. Are you going to... Oh, are you... Very dirty. Have you soiled yourself? Is that what you've done? Because your bowel is, is coming down. It might be that you need to go and do a toilet. Going closer to crush. Oh, no, I think they're going to... Th <laughs> I think... 
I think they're going to possibly poo themselves. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Going to the common area. You might need to go to the toilet. That might be a more advisable thing. Look at the dirt along the floors. What are you lot doing? What? How, how can you be so filth ridden? Right, you're cutting through here to go to the common area. That's lovely. There's a teacher having a spot of food. So you're going into the common area. Um... Yeah, do you not maybe want to go to the toilet? No, you instead of going to the loo, you're just gonna play a bit of play a bit of guitar. Okay, that's fine, Elliot. That's absolutely fine. Yep, now you're gonna go to the toilet. Don't worry, I won't watch you now. I'll I'll leave you to do this all on your very own. Oh, there's all sorts of mess. There we go. I don't want to see you doing that. But well done, you've sorted that. Another delinquent student's been set straight. This is good. So now there's only seven bullies. So we started with ten, we're down to seven, and it's the pretty much the end of day one which again is a good sign. So hopefully by the end of the, even by mid-year, even by day sort of four or five, they should all be gone and dealt with. And that is lovely. That's very, very good. The school is an absolute state. We need so many more janitors. <laughs> we need so many more. We need like double the amount we've got now. We just need so many people doing cleaning. I mean, it'd be good if they could stay a little bit later. Can I have a night shift? Can I have a night shift to come in and do the cleaning? Because the school is an absolute mess. Let's just check a look at what there is. Sanitation. 61 places where there's dirt. Look at the end. We've got 15 janitors. We spent three grand a day on janitors, for goodness sake. Right. Bosh time on. Let's get to the next day. Okay. We've been paid our monies. Let's see if we can do a bit of research. Let's see if we can do a bit of this and get something going. So landscape architect gives us fancy trees. Ideally, we'd save up for teacher training. That'd be really good. Let's increase the worker range. We might as well have not got that much left. Not got that much left to do. Ad campaign is two grand. It gives us 50 prestige. We don't really need it. Then we get into this weird thing here where we have naming rights, <laughs> where the school, uh, we get 10 grand, but the school name is replaced. And then we can then spend 15 grand on replacing it back, which seems like a very silly thing to do, but it's fine. So we need an extra five grand. We'll do that just to kind of try and tick everything off the tree. Let's increase the worker range right now. Let's just get that done because that's a nice, easy thing. It's not particularly challenging. It's not really required as such, but it's lovely. It's fine. And then I sort of outlined this room to be an art room because I thought we don't want to actually bundle the rooms together too much because the juniors, uh, no, sorry, the seniors down here can get easy access to a music room, an art room, and a computer room. But then, of course, if they want to go and use a science room, they have to walk all the way along here to the science room. So I thought if these guys over here, the freshmen, have got easy access to science and an art room, at least it stops them walking around quite so much. So let's go, whoa, extreme zoom. The, the scroll was going a bit weird there, wasn't it? Let's zone this out as an art room. I think this is what we'll do. We'll finish up, I think. So we'll do that as an art room. So that's fine. And then we want to kind of mirror what we did with the other art room, Rena. What did we do with the other art room? I can't remember. I've been to sleep since then. So things at the end and then easels in the middle. Right, that's fine. I can cope with that. I can completely deal with this. So art room uh, like this. Oh no, that door's slightly in the wrong place. That door might be possibly in the wrong place. We might have to look at that shortly. We might need to rejig where the door is, but we'll see if it works. Right, and then an art shelf there. I think that's at the back, isn't it? Yeah, another art shelf there and there. And then easels in here like, uh, I think we have that there, that there, that there, and that there. Yeah, that's about right. So did, does that come in? Do you walk in onto an easel? No. Is that room a bit bigger? That room might be slightly big. How many tiles is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, eleven. That room is ever so slightly bigger. I think this is ten. I think this is size ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I think they're walking in. They can squeeze past the easel. It's fine. <laughs> they can work that out. That's all good. Right. Move time on. Nice and fast. Work arranged, uh, sort of thing above is incomplete. Rude students, oh my goodness me, many, many rude students going on. We've got an art room, it's brilliant. There is a bullying incident. Let's get ourselves, for the final thing, let's get ourselves another janitor, because this is wildly exciting. Let's get another janitor to go and do more cleaning, because the school is dirty. 58 big blobs of dirt around the school. So I think, yeah, we need to now sort of crack down on the dirt. It's not going to do as much good. And I think with that done, we're one day into year six. 
So we've got a whole day done. Day two is just starting, but we did the build phase. We've got a lot of new stuff going on. This eventually will become a gender neutral toilet, which is lovely. We need to fill those toilets up with the sinks and hopefully that will help with hygiene, although it hasn't helped so far. Another delinquent student has been set straight. Let's pause it because that is good news. But yeah, I don't want to keep being interrupted while I'm jibber jabbering on, but that's good. That's good. We're down to six bullies. We've got rid of four of the bullies by 9.41 on the second day. That is brilliant news. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good point to wrap it up. We've got these things all in down here, these classrooms in. Those toilets have been changed around. We've got some stuff over here. It's all looking good. We've got some statues as well outside. <laughs> <laughs> slightly pretentious statues but okay it's all fine so i think this is a good spot to leave it hopefully you are still enjoying this i really hope you're enjoying academia if you are then please do leave a like that would be most splendid and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with everything else that we are getting up to in the geek cupboard and of course keep up to date with academia school simulator but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this room was fire free until it wasn't Okay, yeah, come with me if you want to live, Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine. 